welcome to each topic in this video i am going to explain the exercise question of chapter 4 that is question number 6 programming exercise question number a write a c program to find the summation of the following series the first series is 1 power 2 plus 2 power 2 plus 3 power 2 plus 4 power 2 dot 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 plus n power 2 so we have to find out this series sum so to do this program we are going to use at first for loop we will take variable we will take uh, three variables all the variable will be in integer form so int first variable i this is for counter next variable n this is to enter the value maximum value by the user and one more variable we will take that one is sum and this will initialize as 0 now we'll quote, uh, go to the next line here we'll take input of n so we'll write printf statement printf and inside bracket we'll write a message like enter the value of n then after that we'll write scanf statement and here we'll take the input of n for that we'll write percentage d and we'll store it in n and person n after that semicolon now here we are going to use loop for that we'll use for loop for i equal 1 we are starting from 1 and we'll go till i less than equal to n and each time the value of i will be plus plus now Inside the for loop, we'll write sum equal sum plus i into i because power 2 that's why we are multiplying the value of i by 2. At first the value of i will be 1 that means 1 into 1 it will be 1 only plus next time when it will repeat the loop it will be the value of i will be 2. So 2 into 2, 2 power 2 means 2 into 2. So it will be 4. So like this uh, it will go on and the answer will be stored in sum. Now we have to display the result and we will display the result outside of for loop. Here we will add one printf statement and we will write sum equal percentage d and the percentage d is available in sum semicolon now our program finish here we'll add return 0 now we'll check the program whether it's work or not so build and run uh, mistake semicolon I have missed now build and run so it asking me to value enter the value of n let's enter 5 so the sum equal 55 let's see whether the sum is 55 or not so not pet the first number is 1 second number 2 3 4 and 5 1's power 2 will be 1 only 2's power 2 will be 4 3's power 2 will be 9 4's power 2 will be 16 and 5's power 2 is 25 now if we add all the numbers let's open calculator so here is the calculator 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 so it is 55 that means our answer is correct and for the value of n we can add any other number let's run one more time let's 10 so the answer will be 385 this is how you can write the answer of the first question I have uh, you can take a screenshot of the video and note down the code and if you have computer you can practice the code and if you are going to do the same program by using while loop 
let's see what changes you have to do first I am removing the for loop from here now we will initialize the value of i at beginning only like i equal 1 now after scanf statement we will add while and in bracket we will write the condition i less than equal to n now inside bracket we are going to add the statement sum equal sum plus inside bracket i into i then semicolon and after that we have to give the counter variable that is i plus plus so this will be in while loop so let's run the program build and run asking me to enter the value of n suppose 5 the sum is 55 so this will be the uh, in while loop the previous one in for loop this one in while loop and if you are going to do the same program in do while what you will do we will cut the condition from here and instead of here while we will write do and after closing the bracket we will paste the while part and semicolon this is in do while so let us compile it 5 55 so the output will be same for all the loops for loop while loop do while you will get the same output now let us move to the question number b now in this program we have to uh, add the sum uh, we have to sum the number of power 3 like 1 power 3 so what how we can do that let's do it from beginning and we are going to use for loop at first so we need a three variable integer this is int i for counter and for to take the input from the user and one more variable sum to store the sum and we'll initialize the sum as 0 now we'll take the input for that we'll write printf statement and here we'll add a custom message like enter the value of n and after that semicolon now we'll use scanf statement here we'll write percent %d and we'll store in n and percent %n after that we will go to the next line here we will use for loop for i initializes 1 and i can go till n less than equal to n means whatever user enter the value of n till that i can run if the user enter 5 then it will be till 5 if the user enter 10 then it will be till 10 after that i plus plus now inside the for loop we will write sum equal here sum plus here power 3 that's why we will multiply i 3 times i into i into i now semicolon now we will come outside of the loop here we will write printf statement and inside printf we will write sum equal percent d and n percent slash n and here sum after that semicolon and the last line will be return 0 so this is the program for question number 6 a b let's run the program build and run now i am entering the value of uh, n as 5 and the output is 2 to 5 if we enter 5 let's see what come 6 now answer is 441 so this way you can do the question number b sensor try to convert this same program in while loop and share the answer in my telegram channel or in instagram so i'll now let's move to the next question that is uh, the next question should be like this one 1 into 2 2 into 3 3 into 4 means it's time plus 1 so how we'll do this let's cut the previous part now we are going to do the question number c we'll need same variable integer 
one i for counter and we'll take it from the user and one more variable sum equal zero and we'll take the input of n so we'll write printf statement and here we'll add enter the value of n now we'll use scanf statement and here percent d and comma and percent n now we are going to use for loop for here i will be starting from 1 it can go till less than equal to n and each time i plus plus and now inside the bracket you now put attention here we have to do 1 into 2 at first so first we'll write sum equal sum plus this part is necessary now the real program begins the real logic begins here we have to do like that 1 into 2 means at first the value of i is 1 only so we'll write inside the bracket 1 into now next it should be 2 so but the value of i is at present 1 but we need 2 so we'll write i again bracket i plus 1 so we'll put semicolon now let's see here at first i is 1 so it will be 1 only here but here i am writing i plus 1 that means it is 2 now we'll come out from the loop and we'll write uh, display the result printf and here we'll write sum equal percent d and the value of d is located in sum semicolon and here return 0 let's run the program this is the answer of question number c so let's the enter the value of n is 5 the sum will be 70 now let's enter some another number uh, it's 6 answer is 112 so this way the third program work you can pause the screen and write the command write the code now we'll move to question number b write a c program to continuously tick in a number as input and announce whether the number is odd or even and hint is given and here asks us to do the program by using do and while loop at first we are going to declare two variable int we are declaring n to take uh, one number from the user and one more variable choice equal we are declaring it is as one now we'll write uh, we'll take uh, uh, write the do while loop first do then break it inside the loop we'll write first printf statement and here we'll write enter a number and slash n here next line we'll write scan f we'll scan the number this one percent d and we'll store the number in n n percent n after that we'll compare the number whether it is odd or even for that we'll going to use if statement so if n modulus 2 double equal 0 if it is divisible by 2 then it is so we'll write printf statement we'll write here percentage d is even then slash n and here the value of d will be n and else part if it is not divisible by and then it will be printf percentage d is odd slash n and the value is n semicolon now 
we are going to one more printf statement to take the choice whether the user want to continue or not for that purpose uh, for that we'll write printf Here we'll write enter one to continue. Then slash n enter any other number to exit. So this one I'm writing now semicolon will scan the number now scan f and we'll store this number in choice so person d and and person choice semicolon now we'll come out from the loop and here right return zero now let's run the program there is some mistake let's see what is the mistake oh we have not added the while part that is the reason so while here choice my program will run till the choice value is one so choice double equal one and after the while that here we have to give a semicolon so let's run the program here asking me to enter a number suppose 3 3 is odd and here I here one menu is displayed enter 1 to continue any other number to exit so I am going to write 1 so asking me another number 7, 8 87 again 1 9 9 is odd again 1 5 5 is odd now let's enter 3 or 2 so it will exit from the program so this way you can do the question number b now after the exiting the program suppose you want to display a customized message you can write one printf statement outside the loop here you can write printf you have selected to exit from the loop let's run the program again this is very common mistake in C programming while you are writing C programming you might forget to give the semicolon or quotation marks so be careful while you are writing the program so let's run the program enter number 6 6 is 7 and here showing enter 1 to continue any other to other number to exit 7 I have selected 7 so you have selected to exit from the loop now let's again rerun the program 5 5 is odd again to continue 1 1 I am writing now 8 87 again 1 65 65 is odd again 1 to continue 99 it is odd again 1 to continue 0 0 is even again 1 to continue 96 96 is even now 5 while I'll write 5 it will exit from the loop so it displayed this message you have selected to exit from the loop so this way you can do the question number B and the next three questions question number C D and E which are pattern this one we will do it in next video if in this video I am going to do these programs it will be too long so let's try to do this program in next video thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye